Today is going to be really exciting. We're going to talk about the applications of applied behavior analysis through industry, education, government, and those behavior analytic uh, principles that, that possibly can change the landscape of the world. One of the mantras at Wells Fargo was, run it like you own it. That's an odd thing to say, because running it meant deceiving customers and stealing from customers. I like Einstein's first quote, bureaucracy is the death of all sound work. Who here thinks sometimes there's a bureaucracy in government? Just show your, put your hand up. <laughs> Once in a while. One of my, my favorite improvements that has been made in this area is the fact that we are calling it a code and not a set of responsible guidelines for conduct. Really, that anytime you hear the word guideline, it's, it seems like more of a suggestion, right? It's a rule or principle that's designed to guide one's actions or behavior. So the Ten Commandments are precepts. Another one would be, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved. Alfred Lord Tennyson, the British poet. Dr. Bailey discusses this, and he actually dedicates a whole section of his book about how to message our ethics, which is great. You know, and the biggest thing that he talks about is we have a hard time not just knowing what to say, but how to say it. When we're faced with a lot of difficult situations, it's always important to understand that. Why, why do we do this? Because we, we need something else. It, it can't be about the money. There has to be something more than that. It's about, you know, the kids. Integrity, involving clients in planning and consent, and also looking at treatment and intervention efficacy. I think we are a perfect science to move and merge with technology so that we are creating some fantastic stuff for the future. So does capitalism and concern for business trump ethical and moral considerations? It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Ethics should come first. Capitalism has to come second. That's what our field is about. We're about helping people.